and welcome back to Shovel Knight. Um, it's been a long time. Can you guys even remember where we left off last time? I think we did some side quests mainly. We ha we have I'm some. I'm not sure I was here last time. That's possible. We have some actual plot this time. Basically, we find out that uh, Black Knight thinks that Plague Knight is trying to make a potion. So that the, uh, I can't remember which characters it was, hold on. The Magicist will fall in love with him, but the Black Knight was mistaken, and Plague Knight wants Mona. So, basically, it makes it so it's, you know, your typical anime trope. Uh, the girl gets upset, runs away, doesn't want anything else to do with him anymore, thinks he's a creep. So, you know, typical Japanese stuff. Her walking animation is pretty interesting, though. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, I do love how it's cute that they uh, don't make, they won't let him dance while Mona's around, even though he should have technically been able to dance once she was off screen. That's why he was doing that uh, fingers twirling thing. Because he's embarrassed about it. Yeah. So, let's say, how have you guys been? Oh, uh, you know. Sick, tired. Yeah. Same old, same old. Working, slaving yeah. every day. Well, I'm off work for the summer. Oh, that's As true. Of, yeah, uh, Thursday was my last day. That is true. Until I forgot about that. the end of July. Sorry, I'm multitasking at the moment. That's what that's what I'm doing. Sorry. Working on videos at the same time, because I, I have two monitors now. I don't know if we've talked about that yet. Bye, Mona. <clears throat> so yeah, we don't see Mona again until late game. Just How many more episodes is that? Uh, is it like three more after this? Yeah, three more after this. Four total, including this one. Okay. So we're almost there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm laughing at the fact that he's dancing while... Uh, that's going on. Um, shoot, there was something in the news or media that I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what. Also, uh, since he has two roles now, he will run to wherever he's needed. And I don't. Do we have any specific topics that we had? There is something, but I can't remember what. It was something in the news. Uh... I probably don't know what it is then. Yeah, I don't pay that much attention to the news, but enough attention to the news. I can't remember. Oh, I suppose we could talk about that. I picked up a book by, uh... Hold on. I'm taking a look because I have it right next to me. Christopher West, because I was curious. Um, I've heard that some of his stuff is really good for, like, Theology of the Body, but I've also heard it can be, uh... Really... Uh, really not on point the same, some, for some of it. Obviously, I haven't read it yet, but supposedly some of his stuff is mostly in line with Catholic teaching, but it's... I'm going to get a little dirty, honestly. Supposedly... I haven't read this yet. It, uh, he says that anal foreplay is okay, but I'm not obviously sure about that, because as much as I like our Catholicism, I'm not always going to trust them without having read up on it, if that makes sense. Did I get too awkward? I think I got too awkward. Did you, um... <laughs> did you see the... Sorry. The, the E3 conference? Did, I mean, the uh, EA conference at E3 today. Oh, uh, heck no. What did EA do? Uh, well, I mean, I watched it with a couple friends, and I made the prediction that turned out to be true, and that was people really only gonna... The only good thing they're gonna have is Battlefront 2, and then after that, it's just gonna be generic stuff. That's what it was. It was. Is Battlefront 2 really gonna be good though? The first one was so bad. It looks, it looks good. They're actually gonna throw in the Clone Wars. Um, all content for it is going to be free. Oh, that, that, like that is, that is good. But is the gameplay gonna be better than it was previously? It looks good. It looks. I mean, I never trust EA or really anything nowadays without seeing it firsthand. So right. I'm not gonna. Uh, I, I've learned from Fallout 4 and Dishonored 2 to wait. I was gonna say, there's one company that I'll trust with that still, and that's Nintendo. Mainly because Nintendo's proven themselves for the most part. I know not many people happen to like Star Fox Zero, 
I actually liked it a lot more than most other people did. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back, I'm Sora. You guys don't get that joke. It's a it's a Guild Wars 2 joke back from my the guild I used to be a part of. Ah, uh, so it's an end joke that ninety percent of people well not even ninety I was gonna say not even ninety nine not even ninety percent like of people like fifty people in this entire world might get that yeah, joke. Ninety nine point nine nine percent of people. Maybe even you could go ninety nine point nine 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 percent. Let's find out. Exactly what the percentage of people who did not get that joke is. It would have to be if you want to. What do we get... have? Seven billion people. Yeah, go for. I thought it was eight. I thought billion. it was eight. I thought it was eight billion now. No, nah, it's about so. It's probably over seven billion, but seven billion will be easier to get a nice even number. Let me find out. I, I was positive we were eight billion. Uh, no, I'm sure. We're at seven and a half. Calculator cannot render that. It is less than a millionth of a percent. Yeah, where so, people will understand that. So that if you're of a millionth of percent of those people, you should consider yourself um, <laughs> lucky or very proud. unfortunate to have been stuck playing Guild Wars with Kevin. Hey, Guild Wars is fun. I totally actually thought about buying it for you guys today because I found uh, copies of Guild Wars Nightfall at my local uh, used bookstore. So it's like, uh, but it's, but it's like, eh, do you guys have half price I, books there? It's one of those I've always wanted to play it. I've just always been like. Yeah, it costs money, so no. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting for the Steam sale. I love Guild Wars. I honestly think that would be a fun one to record with you guys, because it's an MMO that actually has a decent story. And then Guild Wars 2 was awful. Awful is not fair. Guild Wars 2 was not as good as its predecessor. Didn't it expand on gameplay better? Game... I hear it talked about more than Guild Wars 1. Which is a shame, because gameplay is different would be the best way to uh, put it. Um... For Guild Wars 1, you could only go out, and it's kind of similar, but not at the same time. You could go out, um, so basically it was a pre, like, loaded town. Uh, you couldn't find people while you're exploring. You had to build your team while you're in the outpost. Uh, you could only have eight skills at a time, so basically you had to choose skills for the situation, although there's some fairly broken skills, and if you've played Guild Wars enough, you'll probably know a lot of what those broken skills are, honestly, so... Um, and basically you could only have eight at a time. Guild Wars 2 changed it up so you had rolling, you had dodging, you had jumping. Uh, you could have technically multiple skills. If a skill set wasn't working, uh, as long as you weren't in combat, you could change your skill set up. Uh, they also made it so you could switch weapons, which also changed your uh, skill set while you were in the middle of combat. So it's, it's a different type of game. Yeah. Like, the lore is partially there. But they've also retconned some of the lore from the original Guild Wars at the same time, so... Yeah, it, it's it's not a, it's not that it's a bad game, it's the fact that they don't care about the original fans, I suppose. Which is a shame. Because trust me, I tried, I played Guild Wars 2 for a long time, I've got about 2,000 hours in it, I think, and I've spent a lot of money on their in-game store. So, it's like, I gave it a fair shot, I did. I'm salty. <laughs> but no, like, the story, I th it's, it's pretty basic, but I still really like the story for it. And I'm gonna bet that Odd's probably gonna go ahead and, uh, look it up. No. I'm really? just trying not to fall asleep right now. Oh, is it that- was I that boring? No, I'm sick. Oh, okay. I work in a preschool, I sent oh. two kids home sick on our last day with kids. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, that's fair. One of them had a 103 degree fever. Oh, that's not so good. So yeah. yeah, those are not fun. I don't I've think that's the one that I picked up the sick from, though, thankfully. You don't think that's the one you picked up the sick from? No. That's fair. By the way, John, I don't know if you were here for this. Katie's may not, we may not be moving to Savannah. She's considering Wisconsin now instead. Oh, really? Yeah. Might be cold. Perfect. I love that was the main reason I did not want to move to Savannah. It would be closer to my uh, family. Yeah. yeah, it would have uh, been hot. It would have been hot. As much yeah, as I, and, as, as much hey, as I hate Wisconsin's closer to me. It is. I was gonna say and I'd like still I was gonna almost say, a day trip. I was gonna say I'd still be willing to drive to uh John honestly, so we could do too many games next summer. I'm not I could pick up James, we could make a trip, it'd be fun. Oh, can we go to Hershey Park while we're there for too many games? What is Hershey Park? 
It is an amusement park that's based around um, Hershey's. Oh, so it's like chocolate themed? Kind of, but not really at the same yeah, time. Pass. I said kind of, but not really. It's more so the just town that it's in is also named Hershey after yeah. the, uh, the guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, I really like Hershey's, but some of the stuff they support makes me really sad. They support I don't know, after I've eaten stuff, they've <laughs> it doesn't taste as good as uh, other stuff. It's overly sweet. It it can be. I I, I more so like their licorice, is what I mean. I don't even know they made licorice. Yeah, black licorice. Uh, they they're Twizzlers. Oh, they're Twizzlers. Uh huh. Um, Twizzlers is isn't licorice. Uh, Twizzlers is licorice. You're thinking the grapevines. That is not licorice. It's red candy. It, but it's actually licorice. As opposed to grapevines, uh -huh. which... Uh, I mean, it's at least uh -huh. more... Can we at least say it's more licorice than grapevines? No. Alright. Oh man, I'm so excited to see all of you. I'm actually really excited to meet all of you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, maybe one day. One day. Yep. Yeah. So, I was going to say, I know that it's been, we've talked about this game a lot, but I still haven't finished Persona 5 yet. How was Persona 5, John? Uh, <coughs> so how is? How was it, I guess, since I know you finished it. <coughs> it was good. It's hard to, it's hard to ever talk about anything in it without spoiling everything, because there's uh, so much. I was going to say, at this, at this point, I think we can just say, there's, sp guys, we're going to be talking about Persona 5 spoilers. There we go. No, I'm not spoiling Jack. No. Oh, you're not? Okay, okay. Spoil it, or I will go Google it and spoil it without context off the of random stuff that Google says. To be you fair, I understand it's what it's 100 and it's it's like Persona 3. There's 120 hours worth of stuff that you can't just Jeez. spoil in one word or nothing. It's there's so much that happens. I'm also gonna be honest, James. If you do that, I'm probably going to mute you while you do that, just out of respect to John. Just like if there was something that you didn't want spoiled. To oh no, it's else. not that. It's not that I don't want it spoiled. I know oh. everything that happened. Right, I know. I just meant. I think I get where you're coming from. <clears throat> and I don't mean that to be mean to you either. By the way, this does not stop wind, which pisses me off. Because that should stop wind. Uh, when you're in a smoke fog, it means you're invulnerable to damage. So you'd also think you'd be invulnerable to uh, effects as well, but that is not the case. No, I think the wind would blow the smoke away. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I honestly did not think about that until you just mentioned that right now. Huh. All right. So I've been recording Mega Man X6 for my channel, and I'm kind of thinking about recording it a second time for us because, oh my goodness, that is an awful game. It is literally one of the worst games that I play. And I think, you, um, I think there's actually a list of some of the worst ever made. I have to find. I, I'd be curious if Mega Man X6 is on there, like. I, I think E.T. is on there, because I know- I, I think it's on Wikipedia, so I think I know what you're talking about. Like, it's- it's bad. There's a sequence- there's a section that is an auto-scroller with spikes and Crusher. I don't know who thought that was a good idea to combine all three things that people hate. What about, um... Superman 99 or Superman 64 is I would play Superman 64 over this because there's a reason for that I'll get into that there is precedence for uh, Mega Man games like you know how they're supposed to be played they're not supposed to be this much baloney throughout the entire game Superman 64 it's like all right it's a new company it's not the same exact company making the game as has made it before so all right let's give this a chance and it's not good, but it's, you know, it, it, they at least tried. I, I, I can forgive them for that. It's kind of like the same, similar situation with Sonic 06, by the way. Um, with Shovel Knight, you had to go the long way around. Obviously, with uh, Spectre Knight, you technically don't have to. But, yeah, it's like, with Sonic 06, it's like, Sega Team, what have you done? I don't even know what you were thinking when you made this. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it, if it's a new company trying something, I'm willing to forgive them more. Whereas, if it's a company that's done this before... Mega Man X6 has a weird history as well, because Keiji Inafune didn't work on that one. X5 was supposed to be the last game in the series, and Capcom was like, but we like money. Oh, also, um, in order to get through the stage easier, 
you have to get a part from a Reploid, and Reploids can die, so if that Reploid dies, uh, you don't get to get through that stage easier. So... It's fun! Sorry, I'm ranting now. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm Propeller Knight again. I'm honestly just waiting for us to... Go ahead. Okay, if you think you were ranting, go to my YouTube channel, watch the Fallout 4 video, <laughs> and just sit there through my reaction to the fact that you couldn't make pink or purple hair anymore. <laughs> See, I didn't care about pink or pink, pink colored hair. But what? it takes away from the, uh, the immersion, though. What if you wanted to be a... Uh... A what grizzled dwarf mushroom with hot pink. I was gonna say, what if you want to be Zarya? Yeah. I mean, you should be it's... able to- it's a role-playing game. You're yeah. supposed to be whatever the heck you want to be, not Joe Schmo, Joe Schmo 2, it's... Joe Schmo 3, Joe that Schmo 4. That is far from the only problem I had with Fallout 4, but that was a major one. Oh no, of course there's well, so there's much There's a more lot more. of- I, I, I would even say that's a-, a lot. that's a nitpicking one, is what I would say. Like, it, it's- not nitpicking. I would say it's smaller compared to the grand scheme of things. There's a like... problem all up front, <clears throat> when I when I opt to load it up for the first time in almost a half a year. I play it for like a few, like not even a minute, and I just get bored. Yeah. I don't feel like playing it any because it's just it's just it's a first-person shooter game. Exactly. Masquerading as a Fallout game. Yeah. To be whole, fair, one though, one of the biggest problems was the dialogue. Why would you take away? All to... these different dialogue options and speech checks, and just throwing the generic Bioware uh, yeah. dialogue truck. To be fair, yeah, it's like, ooh, somebody bought or played Mass Effect before they made this game. To be fair, they've kind of been doing that since Fallout 3, because it's like, it was. Not with Vegas, well, though. Vegas is dialogue. New Vegas is different. Up there. Be new Vegas is different That's because. because it was a different. Yeah, it was a different day. It, it, it was made by the original team. Exactly, I mean, and that's why it's far better than any yeah. of the other game. Come like, so not the one hundred percent original team, but it's like enough team members from the original team. Oh, exactly. Like I've been, I should have played through the first Fallout. Um, I'm still going through. I think I'm twelve hours in, and I'm still. There's some things I had to look up because it's a little older and I'm confused on some parts. But right. even then, it's so much better. Dialogue is good. There's some things you can and can't do with specific skills and everything. And that makes me really um, curious how the original Fallout Three was because. The Fallout 3 we got was not the original Fallout 3 that was being worked on. It's, it's just... A, I, what's it's that company's name again? Of what, uh, a lot of what was going to be the original Fallout 3 became New Vegas. Yeah. That is true. That is true. It's because Bethesda I mean, cut Vegas. what it didn't want, and it wanted to streamline everything. It yeah. wanted its own Fallout as opposed to what the creators wanted. In fact, right. that's what I watched. Um, There's something on... I think it was Troika Games. Mm -hmm. And it was some of the people that worked on it, and they said the thing with Fallout is... Technically, Interplay owned Fallout, but the people that worked on Fallout saw it as theirs. It was their baby. It was their thing that they made with their own, their right. own hands. And that's it was their own flesh and blood, but then when they gave it to Bethesda, it felt like they basically handed their child over to a completely different company. And now Bethesda wanted what they wanted with Fallout. Like, oh, here's how you're going to make your game. You're going to make your game how we want it. Right. And that's what they didn't like. Interplay gave them that ability to make their game how they wanted it. Yeah, and that's why I miss Interplay, but Interplay needed to die at the same time. <laughs> Only due to the fact that Interplay did happen to be a good company, but they made some awful, awful decisions, and that's why, you know, they're in the position they're in now. That was the same with, um, <clears throat> well, I guess maybe not entirely the same, but Troika. Troika Games was started by three former, like, three of the big league guys. I can't remember their names from uh, Interplay, mm -hmm. and they're... They're famous for, I think, something something Bloodworks of something in Arcana. I forget forget the name. It's very long, but it's that and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and right. then I think I forget what the third one is. But there are three games they worked on, but they had to work on them simultaneously. So, oh. And this is a small studio, so they are outstretched oh, no. beyond belief, and they had to keep taking out more yeah. and more loans, and their budget was completely stretched. And the reason why they took on three because they were behind in bills and yeah that's because their company was very free flow they had I think every weekend they had like a company barbecue or like a like a hangout kind of thing mm. um the similar to the way how valve has their offices like they get a snack cart and it's relaxed and they have a right. room and they have all this they did that before valve did so they had this really they wanted to make work entertaining Fun. but still get work done as opposed right. to like 
a bunch I, of cubicles. I think that would have probably been partially their problem as well. Valve did that after they became successful, whereas... Yeah, uh, so it was easy for them to do it. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, unfortunately, it sounds like they unintentionally put the uh, and this horse... Is, it ahead. worked so well. Mm -hmm. that when they were working on some of these games, people foregoed pay, foregoed overtime pay, they gave up hours, they gave up time. They started paying out of their own pockets, I think, if I remember right. Right. To help with the production of some of these things. They cared about these projects so much, and they showed. They, I haven't, I've only played Masquerade, mm -hmm. uh, Bloodlines, not the other two, um, but it shows there was so much work and effort mm -hmm. and blood and sweat put into them. I believe it. Man, I really wish there was, I'm going to complain a little bit, I really wish there was like, kind of, like a good Catholic game company, not like from, you know, you know the one I'm, I'm talking about, not like the NES days where it's like, this, what, what? I mean, you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I know what you mean, like, <clears throat> yeah. So it's like, we can make a good game, it's, you know, I don't know. So, fun fact about this, I think I included this, I can't remember. Um, I died to this boss 30 times the first time I played it, like, three years ago. Was I did not... Go ahead. What was that? How did you die 30 times? I did not like uh, Spectre Knights, no, not Spectre Knights, uh, Plague Knights initial... I did not get Plague Knight's control initially. Even now, I'm not great at it, but I understand it better than I used to. Like, he just kept kicking my butt over and over again, pretty much no matter what I did. But it's like, now I understand it a bit, so it's like I can uh, mostly go ahead and, uh, you know... I get, I get his control now, whereas opposed to... I just... I don't know what it was. It's not even that hard to control, but it's like, you know where you play a game, it's like you play it a couple years later, and it's like, I thought this was hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I had moments like that before. Yeah. Where when I returned to something after a long time, I wonder how I ever had trouble with it. Right, exactly. And it's like, I think the par main reason is I didn't think to use VAT because he can knock you off the ledge pretty easily, and then you're dead. So if I have VAT on me, it's like, nah, we we ain't going down that hole. I, I'm not interested. But no, I think uh, the initial total for my initial game, I think I showed this at the end, I can't remember, was either 90 deaths. I brought it down to 30 for this one, so a lot better than previously. But we're almost, I think, is that all of them? One, two, three, no, we're missing one. So we got, which boss do we have? Have we done Tinker Knight yet? I don't think we have. We're just missing one, so... I'll bet you it's Polar Knight. I typically say Polar Knight for last, so I bet you we did Tinker Knight. No way, I could swear that we... I guess we'll find out next episode. I mean, I really can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't fought him yet. I want to say you're right, and I don't know why I skipped Tinker Knight, but... Eh. We'll find out next episode, either way, so... Yeah, we should have, like, three episodes left. They might be in there. Yeah. There was something else I wanted to talk about, but we'll save it for next time, because I also can't remember it for this time. Yeah, it's Tinker Knight. You're exactly right. So, okay. Guess we found out this episode, but... Alright, guys, we will catch you next time. Until then, have a great day, and packs up Bonham.